Hi, this is Rick, and this is Excel 2010's uh, Week 2 course, and this is the second part and final part of the Week 2 materials. So we just finished creating this um, basic spreadsheet, and we added the table, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this whole um, sheet, I'm going to copy it over here to, um, uh, I'm going to um, copy this, uh, yeah, this worksheet over to a new tab here. How I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just um, click up here in the top left in the um, square behind, um, between column A and row 1 and I'm going to right click and I'm going to just choose copy. I'm going to go over here to sheet 2 and I'm going to paste in the same area. I'm going to click in the same area and now I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose paste. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose. I talked about paste a little bit. Um, there's paste options. There's paste which you know all the formulas, all the formatting. There's paste values there's just paste the formulas and then there's paste formatting so what I'm going to do in this case I'm just going to do the values and you'll see it loses all its formatting because I want to talk about some shortcuts and some other things so I'm going to go ahead real quickly and I'm going to add back that percentage of total sales that each salesperson gets and then of course I need to create a total value a total column down here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna do total and I'm gonna add all these up so I'm gonna go over here to formulas I'm gonna auto sum those from 02 to 013 and then to get find the percentage of total sales that Mike has or Sally has what I'm gonna do for Mike here is I'm gonna go under this cell and I'm gonna say equals and I'm gonna say this is Mike's total sales divided by a divided by the total sales of everybody and I hit and that's 014 and I hit return and there you have um, 8.7 percent um, of total sales so with that said um, I want to copy this down I want to do this for everybody so again we did this um, in part one but I'll do it again in case you missed that part I'm gonna go ahead and copy this down and you see there's an error in the formula and the reason why is now it auto adjusts so instead of doing um, 02 to 014 now it's going to do 03 to 015 but you don't want this one to keep moving down because it's not valid you can't divide by a zero so I'm going to delete that and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this a constant value and how I do that is by using the dollar symbol or highlight the value the cell that you want to um, highlight in the formula the cell that you want to remain, remain constant and hit F4 and that'll do that for you. I hit return and now I'm going to copy that down again highlight, click the cell, single click it and then when you get your um, after you unselect the cell um, once your cursor turns to a cross on the bottom right just click and drag and then let go. Alright so a couple quick things here is we probably want to make these columns a little um, little nicer um, with some formatting so what we can do here is we can highlight the whole row you can either do it like that or you can just click here and that'll make the whole row you know as far it, 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 the length of the spreadsheet um, format in that direction but we're just going to do this we're going to go ahead and click that and we want to do a couple different things here we want to um, format these cells so we'll talk about shortcut keys a little bit here so how these work are, you know, you can go in here and you can use your mouse for lots of things. So I can right click here and I can say format cells and then I can go to font and then I can choose, um, I can go over here and choose bold and I can change the size of it and so forth. Uh, but I'm going to hit cancel for right now and because what I want to do is I want to show you some shortcut keys. One thing you can do is you can always use the, the ribbon up here by using your keys on your keyboard. So as you if you're doing common repetitive things, sometimes it's quicker while you're typing just to use the keyboard. So if I click the Alt key, you'll notice up here that I get all these um, little boxes come up. Well these are these are the key sequence that you need to hit. So if I want to go to the home key, I hit H and then now I've got all these options over here so now I can click um, I can click one as a um, option to bold that selection you see that right there you see one right there 
So I could click one, and there you see it bolds it. Okay, and that completed the sequence of events. Now there's other shortcuts. Um, there's certainly other ways to do that. So let me. Um, I can't remember. Maybe it's Control B. Yeah, Control B makes it um, bold. So I didn't need to go through that sequence. But if you don't know exactly what it is, the the exact shortcut key, you can go ahead and use those um, use those tabs to do that. So I'm going to do Control B again to unselect that. So now another thing we can do here is um, let's assume we wanted to copy over this data for some reason. We wanted to let's just say you want to copy this whole row. You could highlight it, select it, and now rather than going through the sequence of events like this, you can go and hit some shortcut keys. So for example, Control C is copy, and now I can just use my arrow key and head down. Let's assume I wanted to paste it here, starting here, and I can hit Control V, which paste it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to escape out of that and I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I really don't want it there. Alright, um, and again these keys, you can learn these shortcut keys by you know going into use these um, hotkeys. One thing I want to point out to you is um, uh, if you go here and I'm, I'll leave, I'll send this out in, in the spreadsheet tab. If you go here there's a good, um, there's several good sites but rather than type them out I'm going to paste this Microsoft site in here. It shows you how to get keyboard access to the ribbon. And it also shows you a whole um, series of common and not so common shortcuts. So if you like to um, if you like to do things with just the keyboard and not use the mouse as much, um, this is a, a, a good page to bookmark. So I'll send that out and that'll give you all sorts of uh, good information and shortcuts that you can use go ahead and highlight all these cells and what I want to do you'll notice over here like it gets cut off here it gets cut off here it gets cut off here salesperson gets cut off total sales gets cut off percentage of total sales gets cut off I'm gonna highlight all these cells and sorry I'm gonna highlight all these rows and how I do that I click the left mouse button on column A here and I just drag across and I go to column P and now I can go under format under the home tab format and I'm gonna do auto fit column width and you see what will happen, it will clean it up. All right, so it's nice and neat looking, it fits everything in there. Um, another thing I can do is I can highlight um, all these percentages here because this isn't very um, friendly to look at. And I can go under here and I can format. This time I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Format Cells and you'll notice you'll get a whole um, several options here. So you get number, alignment, font and so forth. Um, so I'm going to go to Number and what we want to do, we want to make this number a percentage, and then we can make it any number of decimal places that we want, one decimal, no decimal. So we're going to do two decimal places, and I'm going to click OK, and there you have 8.8%, um, 8.67%, and so forth. So a little more friendly to, um, to read. Um, finally, what I want to show you today is save options. So when I go over here and I go File, Save, as I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to I'm an Excel 2010 class so I'm going to go over here and do um, I'm going to save this as Excel 2010 week 2 um, part 2 and I'm going to go ahead and just save it like that for right now now if I go ahead and click up here I can click save um, it will just automatically save in the in the default spot that I saved it in before um, or I can go over here to the alt key and I can do alt and if I go to F over here which is for file you can see I get lots of options here so I'm going to go ahead and hit save again which is the S so just another example of the key sequence but, but what if I'm sending this to someone who has an old version of Excel like Excel, Excel 2003 I can go over here and I can do Excel I can do file save as and now I can go over here and I can pull this drop down and I can go I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and save it and call it old format format and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to choose Excel 97 to 2003 format and what it does it saves it in the old format so now I can I can email that to somebody and the other thing it'll do it will give you a warning here that tells you some new features may not be um, may not be saved in that format and you can do check compatibility when saving this workbook and I'm going to say continue
and if it had some, it would come back and give me a little report if it uh, if it had some incompatibilities, like some new features that were used. This is obviously very basic, so it, it, everything should be supported. And then if you save, there's lots of other save options here. I'm just going to talk about a few of the common ones. If you create a workbook in your, uh, sorry, if you create a macro in your workbook, you'll need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. Otherwise, it will not save that macro. Um, you could save it as XML data in some scenarios. Um, you could save it as a web page format. You could save it as a text um, file if you were going you know, to import it into another program or something like that. You could save it as a, um, a CSV file. A lot of times you'll get data off of a website download will be in a CSV file. Um, which is very common. Then you can copy that and, and then um, typically save it after you edit it in, a, in an Excel um, format to give you some more features. And those are kind of the common ones. Oh, and PDF files if you're trying to save something so, you know, to email to someone or, or give to someone that they cannot edit. So I think those are kind of the main ones that I want to share with you. And of course, all of these, when you save them, will have a different extension on the file. All right, thanks for joining, and uh, I will talk to you later. Take care.